Alright y'all, this is how y'all do reverse reverb for the uh, Porter Geist effect. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get your audio track and you want to duplicate it. So you highlight the audio track. You can either go up here to track and go down to duplicate or you can just uh, right click right here and go down to duplicate and duplicate the, the audio track and it's going to give you a duplicate audio track and then what you want to do is you want to go up to track and you want to go to new and you want to create that uh, stereo auxiliary track and then you create that track and then what you're going to do is on stereo auxiliary track in the insert you want to add your reverb so I added the uh, the D-verb on mine and then what you want to do is go to the duplicate audio track and in your sins there you want to go to uh, a bus and then you want to go to bus one and two and you create one and two. Now on your audio track that you uh, you inputted in the empty audio track on your in and out you want to go to your bus and you want to go to bus three and four. Now on your auxiliary in you want to go to bus one and two create that and then on your out you want to go to bus three and four because what you're doing here you're sending the signal from your auxiliary from your duplicate track into your auxiliary track and out your auxiliary track back into your uh, your audio track that you added in now what you do here you mute out the original vocal track and then you will solo the duplicate track and then you solo the auxiliary track and then you will go back to the duplicate track click and highlight it you go to your audio suite and you go down the other and you go to reverse and then you process it and it's going to reverse the um, the duplicate audio track and then you want to go to your your empty audio track and you want to arm it for record and then you want to record the uh, reverse audio duplicate audio and then you just hit uh, what you want to do is you want to take your the time selection markers and you want to stretch them out for the DK for the reverb that way when you're recording you don't cut nothing off okay and then you want to record onto the uh, empty audio track so you arm it and you hit record on the transport and just hit play Okay, and then you stop it, and then what you go back and do is you want to highlight both tracks.
And once you highlight both tracks, you go up to the audio suite, you go back to other, and you go back to reverse. And then you process it. Now they should line up exactly the same. If they don't, don't worry about it. You can trim this. And then move it so it can line up. And then you can just go back and mute out the um, the auxiliary track. Solo these two tracks up, and it's, it should sound like this. Get what? Get what? That is how you do the portal guys. Effect of